All right, so this is a video on literal equations. And pretty much this is just uh, what we do in Mr. Nellum's class where we solve for a variable using the power rules. So we know that multiplying like terms, we add the exponents, dividing like terms, we subtract the exponents, um, multiplying unlike terms, it stays the same, and dividing unlike terms, it stays the same. Um, so that's the power rules. And then some other rules I want you to pay attention to are the uh, two-step equation rules. So this is a two-step equation, g equals 3a plus 4, because it takes two steps for you to solve for it. So the two-step equations, um, you always either do addition or subtraction first, and then you'll do division or multiplication first. So let's try this problem out. G equals 3a plus 4. So according to this rule, we have to do some type of addition. So I want to solve for a. So a is multiplied by 3 and added by 4. So I have to do some type of addition first. But it's added, so I'm going to subtract on both sides. Got to do the inverse. And remember our power rules, when we're subtracting unlike terms, it's just the same. This is what it is. And then now you have 3a. Okay, now that we did either addition or subtraction, now we have to do either division or multiplication. We see that the a is multiplied by the 3, so we're going to do the opposite of multiplication and we're going to divide a on both sides. Excuse me, divide 3 on both sides. And then you'll get a equals g minus 4 divided by 3. All right, let's do another example. I have z equals 3 minus 3x three solve for x. Okay, so I see that this x is multiplied by 3 and it's uh, it, has, uh, it has a subtraction sign and it's added by 3. So according to this, it has to do some type of addition or subtraction first. This is a positive 3, so I'm going to do the opposite of addition and I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides to isolate the x. And these are unlike terms, so we just rewrite it as it is equals minus 3x okay so I'm trying to solve for x and I see I'm multiplied by negative 3 so I'm going to do the opposite of multiplication and I'm going to divide 3 on both sides negative 3 on both sides and so x equals z minus 3 divided by negative 3 All right, let's do another example. So we have u equals negative 4 over 3x. And we want to solve for x. So x is in the denominator. In order to solve for it, it needs to be in a numerator. So it's divided. So we have to do the opposite of division and do um, multiplication but the reason why we didn't start off with addition and subtraction first because there's no adding or subtraction signs okay so I'm going to multiply 3x on both sides and those are going to cross out and I have 3x times u equals negative 4 and I see that x is multiplied by 3 and a u. So if I were to rewrite that, I could rewrite it as x times 3u equals negative 4. Because it's the same thing. Because 2 times 3 is the same thing as 3 times 2. It doesn't matter where you put it because it's multiplication. So if I want to solve for x, I see it's multiplied by 3u. So I'm going to divide 3u on both sides. And x equals negative 4 divided by 3u. Okay, so 
to solve these problems, you need to remember the power rules methods, rules, excuse me. And then you also need to remember when you're solving for a two-step equation, most likely you're going to do addition or subtraction first, and then you'll do division or multiplication. Now, if they don't have any addition or subtraction signs, you just go straight to division or multiplication to solve for the variable. Thank you.